I'm gonna assume everything is running. In the meantime, I do have to check to load everything to see everything is running properly on my screen and that I can also hear myself. La da 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 da. I have to say, this opening, they changed the opening theme for this last episode, which I have to appreciate. I don't know. I just, I heard that guitar coming in. I'm like, oh my god, what is happening? It really sets the mood. And you just have to really appreciate that. <laughs> there we go. Okay, so everything's working fine. Uh, this might be a short set. Depending of how I feel, my, my lower back is kind of aching a bit. So that's the main reason why. And, oh, who knows? Maybe the game is going to quit on me for some reason. Previously on Cognition. I'm sorry, Eric. You're going to hate me for saying this. But I think I could have stopped Scott's death. Wait, what? And you kept this from me? Excuse me. You took the flowers from my brother's grave. Oh, I'm so... <laughs> Don't sweat it. When did your brother die? About six years ago. Scotty died three years ago. Finally, you get your ass down here. My ass was busy closing Scott's file. You are what some people call a scion. If you can see the past, is it so strange that you should start seeing the future as well? But if this piece of shit was murdered last night, done in the same way that he killed his victims, then who killed him? How the hell is Davies dead and her killer not apprehended? Sully! Ah, it's Sully! What the hell is going on? Who's doing this? And how do they know about me? I knew you'd make it here. I've been waiting for you to show up. Years. You're about to find out how alike we really are. Please, Erica. Don't disappoint me. I'm here to inform you that Ms. Smith wants you to make yourself at home here. But of course, you wouldn't have gotten in here if she didn't want it. She saw me. I can't see you anymore, but I know you're there. This one has a second name on it. Jeff Therian. Who's that? I passed out because I saw it. It was you getting killed, Max. Your brother there is going to be talking to a judge if he can't explain the situation. I feel like I'm failing. Jeff has all the money. You make sure of that. I'm calling those agents. I'll kill you before I let that happen. Jeff Therian. He's Garobius' son. This is the guy that murdered Scott? Max! Only one of us can leave this place alive. Do not rest until he's put behind bars. I'm sorry, Eric. Did you kill your brother, Miss Smith? Yes. Yes, I did. If we're going to do this, then there are some things we need to go over first. Okay, I called it. We're starting off at a funeral. Oh. Okay, so this is the past. No cop should ever bury his murdered son. I'm sorry, Dad. I'm so sorry. It's all because of me. Because I couldn't. This will end the way it began, with fire, blood, and tears. This place is lively. I've seen worse, but none as dangerous as this one will be. I'm looking forward to meeting this bastard. If he leads us to Cain... 
Don't count your chickens yet, Skippy. How have you kept doing this for so long? It's the only thing that still makes sense since Alice left me. Come on, you're not the new kid anymore. You know how it is. Yeah, but the things we see... Listen, Red, I know how you feel. We were all there once. This was one of your first cases, and it's been dragging for three years. But we're gonna catch this son of a bitch. So think about this. It's not about what we see, but about what we could stop others from seeing. And that makes it all a little better. I guess. But that still doesn't make it right. Don't worry, kiddo. If nothing else, the donuts will thicken your skin. Reed, are we all set? Awaiting orders, sir. I appreciate the risk you're taking. Stelios and Jetta are both inside now and expecting you, Agent. I've dealt with this guy before. You have to be extremely careful. The minute he sees you flinch, he'll put a bullet through our informant and another one through you. This guy has sold equipment to Kane to build his traps and you have one chance to get an address. Can we go over things one more time? We're short on time. You get three questions. Make them count. Okay. Uh, who's Jeddah? What's Jeddah's code to pass me information? Where will I get the information about Kane? What is the operation about? What's my cover? Let's go over my cover again. Agents Arthur Rosenberg and Jeremy Snowden reported that an illegal Russian Mafia gun shipment is being dropped today. You're here to check that everything was delivered before pickup. You're the stateside contact hired and very trusted by their leader, who goes by Jack Stryker. Obviously not his actual name. Not your job. Focus on the operation at hand. Okay, Jack Stryker is my leader. What's Jetta's code to pass me information? She'll blink once for yes and twice for no. Be careful. If you overdo it, Stelios will get suspicious. We have only time for one more question, Agent Reed. Once for yes, twice for no, okay? Who's Jetta? We already discussed her. She's Stelios' girlfriend, a prostitute junkie who's been our eyes in these circles for a while. The only thing you need to know is that our target trusts her, and that she'll be giving you important information. We don't have any more time, Reed. You have to go in. Agent McCoy, remember, no interference. You're only there in case things go south. I don't like it one bit. Agent Reed, I will be guiding you as best I can, but Jetta will be giving you information through the code we agreed to. Stelios is paranoid. He'll try to trick you, so be on your guard. And no weapons. He'll sniff you out and kill you before you have a chance to think of using it. Your goal is to get the information about Kane and leave as soon as you can. Understood? Yes, sir. And Reed, do me a favor and keep an eye on Jetta. I told her nothing bad would happen to her. Erica will soon enter a dangerous confrontation where her choices affect how other characters trust her. God damn it. <laughs> Damn it. A meter shaped like a character's face will disappear will display in the bottom corner as you make certain choices. The meter will increase or decrease depending on your choices. The more the meter lights up, the more the character likes and trusts Erica. Okay. McAdams just requested Erica to keep Jetta safe. Your response affects the relationship Erica has with him. <laughs> I'll do my best. Thank you. By affirming that Erica will prioritize Jetta's safety, you strengthened Erica's relationship with McAdams. Your decision often affects how characters react to Erica. Sometimes in tense situations, your de decisions can lead to fatal consequences. Assume positions. Be ready in five. Be careful, Agent Reed. Erica? I'll be careful. When you asked me earlier why I'm still doing this, before you came along, I could have turned a blind eye to the whole thing. It gets harder to swallow every year. But I'm here today because I had to train this damn rookie. <laughs> Turns out training you is the most natural thing about this job, kiddo. Go take care of that lowlife. Okay. I did not like this. <laughs> oh no. They're bringing in new mechanics. 
Okay, that's a Jedi. Reed, we've got our eyes and ears on you. Your business? We went over this one. You must be Stelios, right? I'm here about the gun shipment. Huh, <laughs> the Russian doll. I thought you were blonde. I don't know what you're talking about. They sent me. Now are we getting down to business, or are you gonna keep wasting my time? Not so fast, pretty face. What's the shipment number? Shit, Reed, we don't have that. My client is gonna be really fucking unhappy when I tell him what went down here. You heard me. Shipment number. Remember, Jetta can signal you with eye movements. Be discreet, but look in her direction if you need help with any of Stelios' questions. Okay, what can I... Hundred thirty four. Okay, how do I how do I how do I click out? Oh, okay, exit. Okay. <laughs> Hundred thirty four. Hundred four five six. Three four six. I'm not gonna remember all this. Oh, she's looking that way. 134. You heard me. Shipment number. Oh, what the fuck? 344. Four. Sorry, I completely forgot, like, the... <laughs> You heard me. Shipment number. It's over there. <laughs> Did Jay send you? Jack Stryker goes by Jay, but he might be tricking you. He has a lot of people running his stuff, and he's particularly known for letting one of his thugs give the orders. Jay sent me, yeah. Then you wouldn't mind if I gave him a call. Right, Jetta? Nah, I don't think she'd mind. That could get you in deep shit, Erica. On the other hand, it could distract him. Sure, call him. Hey, Jay, I got your girl here. <laughs> yeah, pretty hot ass. <laughs> Hey, Hotface, he wants to know, what's your name? Her name is Vanessa Madsen, but when she deals for him, she goes by Ariel. It's going to be one of those two. Ariel. Yeah, that's it. We're good, Jay. Pleasure doing business with you. I feel so tense. <laughs> I'm just like, I can't screw up at the same time. All right, what do you want? I'm here to check the inventory on the shipment. Want to make sure everything's in order and that we don't waste my client's time. Alright, one final question for you. Here's one for you I tell all my clients. You should know this one. Where do I keep my book? My left or my right drawer? Reed, there's nothing here about that one. I'm gonna assume... Where do I keep my... That's supposed to be center? Neither. It's the center drawer. Yeah, uh, she's got the smarts. Here, doll, look all you want. Done yet? One minute. Take your time. Jesus, I... What? I can't read it. Spanish fly, Ukrainian, USA. Done yet? One minute. Take your time. I can't read. Eight, 
Asian market. I can't. What? Oh, here go. I forgot that she has power. Well, about time you showed up. I don't like keeping your shit for long. It's starting to stink. I need you to ship it somewhere. I'll pay for it all. I'll pay extra. I don't usually do that shit. But you have a mean wallet. Fine, tell me where. One, two, four, six. You know what's so great about looking at your tits? What? That I can see the fucking wire you're wearing, cop bitch! Focus on Jed, draw attention to Erica and tell Jed to run. Jenna, run! I got you, you bitch! John, it's now or never! Nobody lies to Stelios! I got you, Reed! Reed? What? You son of a bitch, what? I saw the news. You did those last two pretty bad. My next pair is going to be even better. Who are they? Erica and Scott Reed. I'm taking the boy tonight. Come on, pick up, damn it. Okay. Did you find my dad? He's unconscious, but he'll live. I called 911. Stay with him. I have to go. Like hell you are. I'm going with you. He said to come alone. I'm not letting you go there on your own. End of story. And call for backup! Our path was chosen long before now. Now we're just walking it until we get to the final door, and the end begins. Smith Family Lake House the morning after Scott's death. I haven't been to the Family Lake House in ages, but I knew Keith would be here. I couldn't do anything to stop him from killing Erica's brother. But I can make sure he doesn't kill again. I just hope I can do this. And if I can't stop him on my own, well... Then I don't know what I'm going to do. So I'm wondering if they introduce that mechanic because something may come in later on where we will be required to use it. It might help with something. <laughs> I like how it's like, it might help with something. Our family's lake house. I knew he'd come here. This window looks slightly open. <laughs> or looks open the bowl. I don't know what we need the broom for. There we go. It looked different from the other windows, that's why <laughs> I chose it. Didn't have the reflective glare. No. No turning back now. Keith is here. Everything I need is here. Okay, but what are you gonna do? These old floorboards get very creaky toward the center of the room. He can't know I'm here until I'm ready for him. Okay. Okay. So interesting. You can't die you're just i'm just gonna come i back need anyway. to be extra careful <laughs> and this is the first 
I don't know if you could actually die in like the first game. Oh, here it goes. Here's the mechanic. Old furniture. Mom liked it that way. So... Like, what exactly does it want me to do, right? Because I can't walk into the middle of the room. Oh wait, can you open more than one window? Okay, no. No good. Can I go through the front door? Yeah, that's not it's gonna... locked. <laughs> that's not gonna help. Keith's car. So I'm trying to decide because I can't walk into the center of the room. I was hoping she like use the room. To it's locked. I need the keys. Okay. So maybe... I mean, I'm probably gonna die a couple of times doing this, so... A little regulator. Let's see if I can once again try to use the broom. It seems no matter what, she walked into the center of the room. Unless I'm, I'm actually supposed to guide the character. Can I guide the character to walk here? These old floorboards get very yeah. creaky toward the center of the room. He can't know I'm here until I'm ready for him. Okay, and then that's my technically my last chance. That leads to the basement. Keith used to spend a lot of his time down there. I tried to go there last no. time. No. No turning back. Right? So what am I supposed to be doing here? That's my question. Cabinet. Couldn't grab the keys last time. TV desk, bathroom. I should think of something else. Max love. Okay, I don't care really about the fireplace at the moment. This is, um... Am I just supposed to talk to him? That's my question. This is our, our trust meter. Keith's hoodie, bathroom, basement. What, am I, what do I need this for? Do I... See, this is the part that's confusing me. I literally do not know what else I can do at the moment. I can't walk to him. He's just gonna shoot me if I try to... He's in there tending his wounds. He must be in pain. I should have brought a weapon. I just... I don't want it to end with his blood on my hands. Okay. And I'm assuming if I try to go No, I have to go around for that. Okay. But... What else can I do? I can't... From here, I cannot interact with anything else. Can this other window open? Does it matter if this window can open? Yeah, didn't think so. And so I made the right call that only... No this good. The window on the far left is the one that could open up. Oh, cognitive powers, right? I'm probably gonna have to use that, right? Here, let's go. Let's go into the window again. Let's go through the window again. So, there's one way to do this. Okay. <laughs> that will require the work table here. Is there a way to lock this bathroom door? I should have brought a weapon. Do I... I don't know, do I... I should think of something else. Fireplace, TV desk... Okay, can I... I'm sorry, can I see that? Can I see that again? 
He trips on the wire. And then we spare, we spray something in his face. So, there's one way to do this. Okay. So, here's my problem. Again, can I, can I go into no. the basement now? What am I supposed to be doing then? No, I have to go around. Go around how? Oh my god, how am I already stuck? Is there... Hello? Can you walk here, please? Okay, so this is not interactable. Heath, car, front, okay. Yeah, so how do I do this? Because literally the only thing I can interact with, really, is this window, and that's it. <laughs> if I tried to walk, I tried to grab the hoodie last time, but can I use the, oh wait, can I now use the broom? Oh, okay. Oh, you know what? Okay, so probably what happened, I used the hand sim symbol rather than the broom symbol. Oh, so... Oh, that was close. How did he not see anything? There should be a mirror in that bathroom, right? What is this? It's Keith's hoodie. There's something in it. Aha! The keys to the house. Never mind. Works as well. Because now I can get to that work table and get the car keys. All right. Uh, progress. Oh, no. No. I didn't mean that. I meant to use the, use the keys. Please use the keys. I'm going to have to see, watch you struggle to open this door. Yeah, there we go. Struggling to open the door. It's locked. I like how she really, really tries to open it with her strength. Okay, so one. Car keys? At least he won't be able to get away. Work. Some thin wire. This might do the trick. How in the world did we attach it? Okay, actually, first thing I want to do is actually see if there's anything in the car. Probably the gun, I would assume. Our keys. <laughs> the sound effects are so loud, it makes me nervous that he's gonna hear. Hey, what's this? He was always messy, but now he's a pig. Nothing under here. As that's how it is, huh? Gun? Keith's gun. My visions showed this ending badly. What? What are you talking about ending badly? Nothing under here. Keith's gun. My visions showed. I'm confused. I saw. What vision are you talking about? Hey, what's this? There. Oh, look at this. It must be that drug he uses to knock his victims out. I'll take a pack, or two, or maybe three. <laughs> I just heard like I'll take a pack and then you just see the continuous lifting of all the other ones do I take Keith's this? gun my I'm very confused because she's like I see this ending badly but I did not see it ending badly for her I see him tripping on the wire Max I know you'll hate me for all the things I'm going to do but I won't let anyone else suffer like we did Quiet, quiet. My goodness. Okay, so we have the wire. I don't know how bag of drugs. <laughs> what? These would knock someone out in no time. You hope so. 
Okay. So right now I'm trying to figure out how she get the wire across. Okay, that'll hold. It's four episodes, so this is the very last one. Wow, okay. <laughs> Thankfully, that didn't make a sound. Okay, so we need to go around in order to get... Because we can't walk through the center. Well, maybe, well... I said maybe, but maybe I'll show it. But then I just realized I won't be able to. Because most likely the game's going to freeze before I get to that point. I need to... Okay, that'll hold. Okay, we're just gonna follow the premonition. Keith, come out of there now! Oh, Cordelia? Surprised? I figured that since I was locked up and you didn't come to visit me, I'd come to visit you. I wanted to, Cordy. I just didn't know what I would say. What you did was... Stupid. I should never have taken the blame for what you did. I felt so broken. I thought I'd protect you. And I wanted to understand... <laughs> Why?! Why, Keith? Because I need to. I can't fight it. I, I just need to. That's it? You destroy our lives. You force me to kill Max, and that's all you can say? I need to? I could usually suppress or ignore it, but that night in Max's office, when I found out the truth, it changed. Suddenly, I felt cut off from you two from everyone. There was no reason to suppress it anymore. Interesting. I want to try to forgive you, Keith. Can you? You have to understand that this is something I can't control, Cordelia. I must kill. That's one way to put it. I understand the need to kill. It, it stirred in me when I killed Max. Killing doesn't what? make us monsters. It just what? makes us human. And because I'm human, I still love you, Cordelia. I'm trying I to always just did. keep the relationship thing up, but it's like... Like, I don't understand. What is my goal? Am I trying to keep my relationship relationship up? Is that important that I do that? Because I'm not sure if there's a point to this. People like us, we can still love. Yes. And even though I never felt anything for Max like I have for you, I just couldn't control the need to kill him to understand what made him tick. Don't you dare mention his name! You always thought he was better than me. What? I really wish I knew why I was doing this. Like, is there a point... for me doing this? Am I trying to get him to come forward so he can trip? Like, why am I... I... I'm so confused right now. Or at least I just don't understand what the game wants me to do. I understand it has... It's clearly... It's giving me very two easy options in terms of to better the relationship or to decrease it. But why? Why do I want to do that? Keith, 
I always preferred you. Come here, Keith. Cordy. Good trip. What are you waiting for? You did it to Max. You can do it again. Pull the trigger. Because if you don't stop me now, I'll kill again. You can't, can you? So much for the drugs. The pain of her past is not over yet. But pain has made her strong, and the past must be uncovered if the future is to become clear. Erica? Cordelia, I've been... I've been looking for you. You've found me now. But this is not... This is not how it's supposed to be. Get me the fuck out of here! <laughs> ah! Understand. Trust me. Ask Rose about Bao Tan. He will point the way. The choices are hers. The path is before her. And it will bring us either justice or condemnation. Even Erica. if he ran, would he just like jump over dear. the wire? Are you okay? Did you find what you were looking for? I saw Cordelia. Everything's gone to shit, Rose. I feel like I should hate Cordelia after all she's done, but I don't. The Sully, Davies, oh God, John. Is it so wrong if I say that some part of me understands her? Erica, scions have an affinity for empathy. Whatever horrors Cordelia has committed, you cannot help but connect to her human side. The woman she was before, the woman she could have been. Who is Baltan, Rose? Did you say Baltan? Oh dear, I haven't heard that name in so very long. Cordelia mentioned it in my vision. I'm not sure I want to talk about this. Please, Rose. I don't know if I can trust her, but this must be important. I have to find her. I have to stop her and her brother. Rose? Sometimes I can remember the particular smell of the jungle. It was musty and salty, and yet I liked it. It was summer of 72 in Vietnam. I had come with the Catholic relief, posted in a remote village, helping those affected by the war. You were in Vietnam? A nun? Why doesn't that surprise me? No, not a nun. A volunteer. It was a hot morning. Vietnamese soldiers patrolled the area just as they would regularly. I was taking a few hours off, sitting in the plaza outside the village temple. I was watching the kids play ball and looking at a figurine a priest from the temple had given to me, all while trying to do some reading. It was so hot that I couldn't concentrate on my book. And that's when I noticed him. Bartin? Yes. There was a wretched man standing under the shadow of a tree, walking back and forth, mumbling nonsense under his breath. In those days, it was not an uncommon thing. War drives people mad. And so I thought he was just another miserable soul still looking for a lost wife or child. Those were desperate days. Sad days, my dear. What happened then? 
Out of nowhere, the man started screaming like a madman, scaring the children. He would run from one child to the next, raving about fires in the sky. Of course, it was not long before the soldiers took him away and threw him in a cell. People were already scared enough. They didn't need a madman to start stirring nonsense. Was it nonsense? I saw the man's eyes as he was being carried away. They made me very uneasy. But they took him away, and the plaza went back to normal. Hours passed. I got lost in my reading, and then a bright light came, and there was a noise, a big broom. The impact threw me against the wall of the church. I awoke under rubble and dust and blood. There was the body of a dead child next to me. She was holding a doll in her hands. And I remembered the man's word. Fire in the skies. What happened to him? Bao Tan was branded a spy. A Viet Cong. No one could have known what happened unless they were privy to that information. In the following nights, I became haunted by visions of him. And I could not stop seeing his eyes. Those tortured eyes. I requested they let me see him. It was not easy, but they allowed me to serve as a spiritual counsel to him. They were going to execute him? Yes, but not before they tortured him in order to extract information. The day I came to his cell, he would not meet my eyes. He lowered his eyes like a scared puppy. It took me days to reach him, but eventually I did. What did he tell you, Rose? He told me that he would feel things, and that this time he had seen the fire in the sky. I went to see him day after day, trying to grant some measure of peace to a hopeless man. I believe I did some good for him, that I was a friend to him when the whole world had abandoned him. When they executed him, he told me something. It's a shame to say that the exact words escaped me. I remember his eyes, his soul, and to this day I live by our moments together. Okay. Um, not gonna lie, I'm a bit confused by one thing. Like, so they thought he was a spy and what, he just decided to break cover? Like... <laughs> Like, I guess, did they not question anything beyond that? <laughs> but okay, sure. It's war. Logical insanity and all that stuff. Rose, I don't understand what Cordelia wanted me to learn by this, but I need to try. Would you give me permission to look into your memories? Oh, my dear. I won't push you if you don't want me to, but I need to know this, Rose. I might be able to make you remember exactly what he told you. Wouldn't you want to remember that? Sometimes, yes. But there are some memories better left alone. I will let you, but if I say stop, please stop. I promise. Okay, you have activated your power of regression to view the desired memory. You must rearrange parts of the memory to match what exactly happened in the past. Once all memories are matched, click on the blue recognition sphere to view the memory. If the selection is correct, then the screen will flash red. What do you mean by... How am I ordering it then? That's what I'm wondering right now. Like, so what is the order, like? Huh? A temple. I wonder what religion it belongs to. Because to me, this looks like the story she told, exactly. Blah, blah, blah spiritual council. Maybe except for this part? Oh, here go. This is what I need to dig up. But I'm gonna have to clear her memory fully, 
and replace all the missing pieces before I can see what she has locked here. She doesn't remember what she told him? The Tower of Physics. Rose was reading a book, but which? Oh. Alchemy of Happiness. The book of Chuang Tzu. The Tower of Physics. It was given to Rose by the temple priest. Okay. Then what do we have here? What could have happened to him? The children were scared. They were playing with that ball. I wonder what village this is. Okay, let's just go through and see anything that... Rose doesn't remember this. I need to find out what this flag really looks like. Okay, then the flag. Is there a way I could... change there's a lot of flags <laughs> there's a lot of options with the flags this is horrible it got burned as badly as that little girl huh i'm trying to click the soccer ball but no okay that doesn't matter she's so lucky to have survived I don't think luck has anything to do with it, my dear. Did I say that out loud? This is horrible. Okay. Uh, let's exit this one. I'm not quite sure. Rose doesn't remember what he gave her? I need to find out more about this. He gave her something. Okay. See the past, you can push thoughts, you can see the future. You have telekinesis. I'm gonna assume it's this, but <laughs> so hmm. Okay, so do I just have to ask her questions, I have to assume. Can't really interact with anything else. No, no. Oh, God. Okay, how do I... It was given to Rose. Okay, what is the... <laughs> what I want to know right now is like, because they talk about the temple, how do I talk to Rose, though? What could have happened to him? So at the very least, I know this can change. Um... But usually you need They to thought he was crazy. Usually you need to try to find the information. Oopsies, not that. Not that. No. Web search. Okay, definitely not entertainment. But that's the only option here. Music, calendar, notes. Yeah, so I got nothing that's going to really help with this at all. Is there... Is it possible to see the flag from a different image? Was Rose using a name other than her own? She doesn't remember it. I need to find out. Okay. So we can have different names. This can't change. This can't change either. Interesting. So how do I... How do I get out of this view? I just want to like... There you go. Exit. A temple. I wonder what religion it belongs to. Okay, here go. What temple was that? It's a Khao Dai temple. There are a few of those in Vietnam. 
out die? What book were you reading, Rose? Oh, my dear. I don't remember. Why can't you remember your name? I'm Rose Duvalier, but when I went to Vietnam, they gave us different last names in order to protect us. So that the enemy couldn't identify your family to blackmail you? Yes, and I do not remember what that name was. Look in the top left drawer of my desk. Maybe you can find something there to aid you, my dear. Okay. What did you tell him, Rose? About what he could do? Isn't it obvious, my dear? Yeah, okay. What did he give you, Rose? Check that shelf over there. Do you remember what the flag of the temple looked like? I can't remember, my dear. The kids were playing with a ball. Yes, I found that ball later and kept it. What village was this? The outskirts of Tran Bang and South Vietnam. Did you ever find out why he said the things he did? Yes, but I do not wish to think about that. It's too hurtful for me to think about them. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna say goodbye. Just, I don't want to accidentally break sequence. I like how in the uh, the preview of like what happened before in the late, in the previous episodes, <laughs> there was there were things we saw because I end up missing them in the original in the last episode. Here we go. There's so many of them. Which one am I looking for? I mean, we know what we're looking for. Okay, ball. The relic. Actually, what is this? Animal. Sword. Okay, hold on. Animal and keys. Oh, burnt. There's so many of them. I don't know why the- it scares me. The audio kind of went eh, there, and it freaked me out a bit. It should just be three, it's right? It's beautiful. This must be what Bautan gave Rose. A ripped photo. It's a piece of a photograph. Is it? It's only a piece of a photo. Is that Rose? Okay, did I... I did, okay, I do have it in my inventory. It's a piece of a photograph. Can't combine it with anything. Okay. There's so many of them. Which one am I looking for? There's so many of them. Burnt figurine, painted tile. Temple Idol. There's so many of them. Temple Idol. This. This? No, okay. Okay, well I have the... the piece of the photograph. Then let's see if we can uh, find her name. Oh, wow, she is bolting for it. <laughs> she... Oh, look, all these books. All of them are here. The Tao of Physics. This book was published about three years after Rose was in Vietnam. So this couldn't be it. Okay. The Prophet? Damn, there's nothing here. The Alchemy of Happiness. Wait, what's this? It's a piece of a picture. This is Rose in Vietnam, but I can't see the whole thing. It's been ripped. Alchemy of Happiness. The Book of Shuang Tzu. Nothing in this one, except that it was owned by a Matt Warriner. Okay, so... I mean, I want to say the Alchemy of Happiness. We know it's not this one. The Prophet. You see, this is more about looking up. The Book of Shuang. I'm trying to... Oh, here we go. There is something there. I 
don't have enough pieces to make a clear picture. Okay. So... What else can I look at here? Rose, the shelf, okay. I mean... the very least... Let's go back to Rose. Oh, what? Come on. Click, 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 click. Come on. Click, damn it. <laughs> Always click. My bad. Your Steam account, what? Your Steam account says it's been a year since last. I usually put my, keep myself, keep offline on Steam. So technically I am on, but <laughs> I'm always viewed as offline on Steam. Uh, as for YouTube, this is the way YouTube, YouTube is. I guess if you stop watching for a while, it'll stop notifying you. Um, all right. Wait, did I find your name? No, I didn't. I did found... What did I find? I found this. It's a torn photograph, right? Oh, okay, no, no, no. I'm supposed to be looking at the shape and the shape of the thing. Okay, let me go back to that shelf then. Okay, uh, wings up high is what I'm looking at here. It's beautiful. This must be what... Oh my god. I don't know why the audio for this particular section is so weird like that. Can I... Is there anything I can... No, I can't. Look at her, all smiling and young. Okay, Bailey. Uh, there's an exit upon an exit. <laughs> I'm so worried about this crashing the game every single time. Okay, if I just talk to her, is it just gonna check me into the... Thank you. Okay, so wings up high. Like this. I think so. Is that my only option? Yeah. Okay, then we know her last name is Bailey. Oh wait, I had it on there. Damn it. <laughs> okay, Bailey, 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 Bailey. There we go. So this is correct. Everything else was just to notify about the things that surround surrounded her. So can I look up the name now? Web search. Here we go. Religious imagery. Oh boy. Uh uh. I have no idea. I have to Okay. Well, time to binge videos for the next three months at <laughs> twice speed and get modeling icon fixing done. <laughs> the... well, at some point, my video release might decrease slightly, very slightly, because I do have parents visiting or I'm going to have vacations. At some point, you'll be able to catch up. Am I... Did I get that right? Tao Dai? I'm really hoping this is the flag I should be going for. Please don't tell me. I haven't... To settle right on it, <laughs> I can see in the in the image here, the monotheistic religion formed in Vietnam in 1926, combining belief that from several major religions such as Taoism and Buddhism, as a universal religion, Tao Dai holds that all religions originate from belief systems representing their supreme being, and that all beings should live in harmony, love, and peace with one another in order to reunite with gods in their heart. I mean, the last one would probably be... So we know it's not this one, because that's three years after. Okay, hold on. Let's... Rose, I need to chat with you again, just so I can really... What temple was that? It's a Gao Dai temple. Okay. There are a few of oh, those Gao in Dai. Vietnam. Okay, so I did get that right. The kids were playing with a ball. Yes, I found that ball later and kept it. 
What village was this? The outskirts of Tran Bang and South Vietnam. Okay, so I got the flag right. The book... What book were you reading, Rose? Oh, my dear. I don't remember. Okay. I think I've got... The only thing would be the book now. Um, I want to say the alchemy of happiness because that's where the photo was kept in that one. I know what you can do. I know you will do good by those like us. I can see it. You will be an angel among those like us. Oh, I gosh. too have failed, my dear, many times. But we must always pick ourselves up and keep on going. I couldn't save Valtan, but to this day I keep his spirit with me. You could hear him. You can... you can read minds, Rose? You're one of... us? I can see and hear people's thoughts, my dear. That must be what Cordelia wants you to know. But why? I do not know, my dear, but it is certainly something that she has foreseen, and it is undoubtedly part of a plan. Okay. So Cordelia is like Bautin. She can see the future. And just like him, she was judged for a crime she did not commit. This is a very powerful kind of scion, Erica. Also a very cursed one. Those who can see the future are plagued by their visions in ways far worse than those like you who can see the past. I tried to help Cordelia, but the events that unfolded around her came too swiftly to be stopped. Rose, but how come I could see the future? I've been thinking about that. It is true that every yin has its yang, and when you bring together scions with contrasting but complementary powers, especially a pair still learning to cope with them, uncontrollable things happen and the powers can clash. What you saw was a vision Cordelia had in the past, her vision of the future. But because it had to do with you, it triggered whenever you were close to her. So, in the parking lot at the station, and again in the hangman crime scene. But then, why didn't I see it when I met her at the cemetery? You were probably more susceptible to danger in those other occasions. But I don't have all the answers, Erica. What I do know is that this power links you to each other, which is how you connected to her past so easily at the Inthon Towers. Okay, and yes, about John. 
What happened to John? Why were you so sure that John was in danger? He confided in me about a few things, and there were other things I read. But it was when you called me from the towers that I made the full connection. What they did to Cordelia after Max's death, it haunted John in ways you cannot imagine. Do you blame her, Rose? That is a very hard question to answer. I feel for all the scions out there. But in this short time, you have known her better than I ever did. Probably better than anyone else. The question is, do you blame her? I don't know how to begin to answer that question, Rose. Let me entertain a thought here, Rose. You can read minds, and Cordelia wanted me to know this. Now, I know you keep saying your memory is fuzzy, but I need you to concentrate on what I'm about to ask you. Go on. When Cordelia was here, was there anything that you read from her thoughts? Anything special? Anything that seemed to matter to her or that could tell me where she or Cain might be? That would be a very hard thing to... Wait. Wait, wait, wait. When Cordelia's visions would overtake her, I would ask her to focus on a place that would calm her down. And did you read her? I'm seeing it in my thoughts right now. Okay. Uh, reach out and touch... Reach out? No? No? Do you? Okay, fine. Let's just do this. It's a lake house. This must be where Cordelia wants me to go. But where is this? There has to be something that can guide me here. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm just looking at like Keith's face right now. <laughs> He's looking a bit crazed, but I'm only saying that because I know... We know what he becomes. They died so young. Who is this person? Wait. You know who it is. It's Garobius. He can tell me where this place is. Last I heard, they were holding him down at the station. Time to pay a visit. Okay. I think I have all I need. Thank you, Rose. Erica, wait. I have not quite told you everything. Really? I had a feeling. I live up to Baltan's last words. I look for scions and I help them deal with their abilities through training or whatever means necessary. I've taken it upon myself to offer Scion salvation. We need to protect our kind. There is much for you to learn about what I do, what we do. But right now, you need to promise me that you will do your best to handle Cordelia. I know that you will use your best judgment with her. I don't know if right now is the best time to... This is not an invitation to join us. This is just me trusting you fully. There are others like you. Others that have been watching you for some time. Your coming here was not an accident. Know that whatever happens, in here you will always have a home. Thank you, Rose. Okay. Your badge and your gun, Reed. Now leave. Take a vacation. And I want you to go through counseling before even thinking of coming back. Is that clear? You finally found a way to do it. You've wanted to do this since I went against you the night that Scott died. You must be happy now. No, Reed, I'm not. But after what happened with John at the Anthon Towers, there's no other choice. You need to be off this case and away from this office. But not before I debrief you. I want to know everything that went down in there. Did you bring Scorobius in? Yes, he's in one of the interrogation cells. Leave it be, Reed. Collect your things from your desk, and I'll be out in a few minutes for the debrief. All right. I'll be waiting. Will we, though? Will we, though? But first, I'd like to make a pit stop. A pit stop far away from your desk, right? <laughs> um... Oh, this is... She even cut the cameras. Miss Reed, what a surprise. Weren't you suspended? I don't have time for your cryptic bullshit right now. I need information and you're gonna give it to me. You seem very sure about that. Reach out. Touchy touch. 
That sounded wrong. That sounded wrong. <laughs> Why did they say touchy touch? <laughs> Keep your hands off me. Really? Can we just... I mean, it's not like I can go out. You knew about Keith all this time? Do you think I'd tell you if I knew? We are surrounded by cameras and microphones. Even if I wanted to help you, I wouldn't say a word. Okay. I mean, we're so... Please, I really need the information. And I don't have it. Apologies. Where is Cordelia? I thought you'd know the answer to that by now. I don't have time for your games. Neither do I, Agent Reed. And I recommend you leave now if you do not wish to get into any further trouble. Where is the Smith's Lake House located? Which one? What country? Okay. What are you doing? Help! Someone help me! There's no one here right now to save your pompous ass. I need you to tell me where Keith and Cordelia are. Go to hell! The Smiths have a lake house. It must be close to here. A lake house? That describes a dozen properties they own. Where is the Smiths lake house? Which one? What country? Okay, I mean, I feel like there really is not going to give us a choice. I was hoping we could do this, but apparently... If I exit the conversation... Oh. This is it? I was hoping for, like, the lake house. <laughs> You bastard! You were there when Keith dragged Max down! You could have stopped this! You have no proof of that! No? How do you think I know? There were cameras, remember? I'm a lawyer! You can't intimidate me with your insinuations! You not only falsify documents, but you are also an accomplice to murder! With the points you're racking up here, it's not looking good for you. Do you want to try your luck? I won't say another word until I see something in writing. Nobody is watching. Nothing is recording. I don't give a shit about you. I just want the address. Now speak! And I might just forget all about this. The lake house you are looking for is at 1246 Pleasant Brook Lane in Rockport. Why didn't you do anything? Why didn't you try to stop him? I didn't know what Keith had in mind, what he was capable of doing. Besides, it all looked like a sibling's quarrel to me. I hadn't been a father to Keith up to then, and I wasn't about to start. You piece of sh- Agent Reed! Agent Holmberg, stop her! <laughs> McAdams, you have to listen to me! I'll listen to you all right. Ten years in jail. Being nice is oh, not exactly going to work here. <laughs> Though I like how this KIA. That's not 10 years in jail is not KIA. What? Where is the Smith's Lake House located? I have to, wait, I have to do Which that one? Again? What country? Okay, can I just Yeah. So we know what we need to do. We just need to apply the force and stuff like that. Weird. I've Keep Weird your that hands the off me. Is here. You knew. A Do you think I? T okay. What are you doing? Help! Someone help me! There's no one here. Blah, blah, Go blah, to blah, hell! Blah, 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 blah. Okay. Then. 
then we're going to do this. Then we'll just cut through this cut scene. You bastard! You were there when Keith dragged Max to- You have no proof. No? I'm a lawyer. You not- I won't say a- Nobody. The lake house. Why didn't you do- I didn't know what- You piece- Okay, so no matter what, it's going to- end with Agent this. Reed. Agent Holmberg, stop her! Okay, now we're going to push Holmberg so he can push him and knock into him. That's why I see what's going to happen. Ooh. <laughs> Sorry, Petta. What kind of shit are you getting into, Erica? That's a... That's not push. <laughs> That's not push. We used to come here every summer when mom and dad were alive. Things were much simpler back then. Don't take another step. You tricked me. My visions? John! The future is a very fickle thing, Erica. What we see is sometimes only one of many possibilities. I saved us both. Had I been in the Anthon Towers with you, one of us would have ended up dead. So I left the towers before that could happen. But fate has a funny way of correcting itself. Someone still needed to be shot. You led John and me to the towers. You're responsible for what happened to him. No, Erica. You didn't do what you were supposed to. You were supposed to kill Keith when you found him. You should have used your powers on him and you would have seen it all. But you didn't, Erica. You made a sloppy mistake. The kind of mistake that cost Davies her life. That's what you wanted me to do? Kill Keith? That's what this was all about. If you wanted this to end so badly, why didn't you kill him yourself? Killing one of my brothers was enough for me, Erica. People like us are cursed. We can't lead simple lives. Don't you dare compare me to you. You're a scumbag murderer. You killed Davies. You almost killed Sully and... What makes us any different? Tell me you don't want to pull that trigger right now. Give me one damn good reason not to. Very well, take this. I found it down in the basement. Use your power on it. Do it. Okay. Is there another victim already? He's taken someone, but I can't see who. Me either. But we can work together to stop this, Erica. We can save that person together. So, what's it going to be? I don't trust you. If it helps, this might help me get closer to my goal. I want McAdams. <sighs> you really are crazy if you think I'll let you hurt anyone else. We can talk about that later. Follow me. The clock's ticking. Is that Erica's dad? He has the same green eyes. <sighs> He was here recently. Do you smell the burning wood? Max loved that smell. He and Mom would sit by the fireplace for hours just listening to the embers crackling. Keith would watch them from the corner of his eye, pretending to be reading over on that sofa. I can see how there was something troubled in him even then, as if the world he saw wasn't the same one the rest of us lived in. You could have prevented all of this suffering and death if you had just come clean in the first place. But instead you used me. Why, Cordelia? Why did you choose me? Because I saw you, in those visions at the towers. You were there, trying to help me when everyone else just crossed their arms and let Max die. You're a rebel, Erica. You were hurt enough by the death of your brother that you could be driven to killing Keith. It was the only way. But for that, you needed to be vulnerable. I saw it. And so you hurt everyone close to me, manipulated my life for your needs? Ugh. We're wasting time. Let's continue this search. Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, 
come on. This must be Cordelia's father with someone important. They look happy. Same two pictures. Can I? I can't do anything else. Oh, I see Cordelia's image there. I'm assuming with this we can. Interesting. So we can switch between Cordelia and Erica. Um, okay. So I do not know how I feel about the relationship meter thing. I'm not quite sure. I'm not quite sure how important it is. Like so far the most important was the the very first use to introduce the mechanic. But in this one, I don't know how much it matters. And it could be maybe I won't know until I get to the very end of this the, the of the game. Unless you, this is the last episode, so of the game entirety. Entirely. Wondering, hmm, just because I'm, I don't want the game to freeze. That's what that's my main concern right now. So this is what a serial killer family sink looks like. Pretty similar to everyone else's. <laughs> what a useless comment. Of course, it, it's the same. As, you think he designed it himself? <laughs> Nothing like stocking your own crime scene kit with everyday household items. Kit. Any wounds I'm likely to get today will need more than a band-aid. A razor? A razor blade. And not too rusty. Okay, so we're going to be need needing to be This could come in handy. Cutting something later on. Toothbrush, alcohol. Any any words? Any Not interested. Especially if it's his. I just want to see if she had any sassy words for it. What what is that? An empty cup. This could come in handy. Okay, sorry. I'm just, it, the cup was like slightly red, so maybe it was just a reflection of it. But it's like, is that just blood in a cup? But thank God it's not. I hope we don't need one. And we don't. We can't take any this wound. Place. Okay. Okay. <laughs> we can still talk what are we looking for? Let's try the basement. Over there. Do I want to, though? <sighs> Kane's lair. This oh is God. the first trap. The George siblings in the old factory. And this one. Joe and Cameron, when he started using tombs. Janelle and Robert, he planned it all here. Scott? He never lets them live. There's always a backup plan, ever since me and Max. You're the only one who ever got away from him. Cordelia, what was done to you was unspeakable. More than probably anyone else, I understand. But what you've done is wrong. Don't pretend you know me just because you've seen my past. What Keith did was wrong. I am not like Keith. I did good, Erica. Someone had to stop Antony and Joey. I saved others. They will never kill again. Okay. So are we trying to keep I can't our say that I condemn you for stopping them. Uh, but why Davies? Why Sully? They were doing their jobs. No, they weren't. They didn't listen. The night I took Joey, he was headed to Melissa's apartment. I tried to warn Sully, but he didn't listen. Melissa? If you hadn't sent your warning as a cryptic message, he would have done something about it. I know, Sully. But what did you want me to do? Tell him I could see the future? I already tried that, remember? Didn't go too well. You're still wrong, Cordelia. You're pretending that this is all about poetic justice, but deep inside, this is just an excuse to get your revenge. That's why you want McAdams. I do like this setup looking. They're just standing across from each other, staring at each other. How will this go? But, God, where do I even start? I feel like, okay, I actually feel like I want to end the set here, mainly because I don't want the game to end on the, the, on the freeze. It hasn't happened. It's going well, but at some point it is going to just cut off and the stream ends. And I'd rather end on my own terms, basically, is what I'm saying. Um, 
But yeah, um, hopefully... Ooh, I don't know what time I have to... If I will be available to be able to live stream next Saturday. But if not, then most likely I won't be streaming till like the end of April again. Because I have parents visiting. I'm like, it's so tempted to push it, but I just don't want the stream to end. I'm like... What is... Because I can look at Scott's track. Scotty. I wish I could have found this then. Janelle's trap. We can look closer at that. We can look closer at that. This was the one for the George siblings. They held each other's hands as they were killed. Oh my god. <laughs> I did not need to know that. It is interesting. So, I was, I kind of forgot that Cordelia, in all the myths, she, she is, she's a serial killer. She killed, she killed the two other serial killers, but she, she also, um, hurt Sully, gravely injured it. Well, yeah, no, gravely injured Sully, and then John, I don't think, I think she, poten she put, potentially put John in harm's way. I'm, him getting killed, it wasn't the result she wanted, right? She was saying, she was trying to prevent if she, they were both at the Anthon Towers, they, one of them would have died. But, in, order, in trying to prevent that, someone had to get shot anyway, or whatever, the fate, everything was trying to balance the scales, or whatever it is. Um, <laughs> I'm, still, I'm still, man, that beginning section, I don't know, I'm still trying to decide if this relationship meter thing, I have to assume this is more endgame stuff, of how characters are going to be perceiving you and, and such. And then this game at least does have, well, no, no, no. Episode 3? Episode 3 did have instance where there was a do-over. Did it? I'm trying to remember. Did it have a do-over? No, I don't think it did. Yeah, so this game is the only one. I think this is the only episode where you could die, quote-unquote, or fail and didn't have to retry. Um, which is always interesting when it's an episodic thing. The small things can change. So that's one of the new things. I just, again, not sure how I'm feeling about this relationship meter. It doesn't feel like it's that integral to the gameplay so far, but again, it just could be an end result thing. At the same time, I'm still so confused with Cordelia and Keith. Like, was I supposed to be trying to, to what? To please them? What was the point of me? I didn't understand why I was, what the point was. In, if we just need to, needed him to trip over the wire. Is there a matter if he's angry and trips over the wire? Or it does it matter if he tripped over the wire because we told him to come here? That's the one thing I do want to know. Okay, now I'm going to just take a look at this wheel. This looks familiar. Seen it before? I have, but not put together like this. He knows about us, doesn't he? Of course, and he must be experimenting on us right now. How long would a pair of scions take to solve this puzzle? I can almost hear him. You didn't even plan all of it, did you? It was him. He helped me put it together. He gave me ideas. He played you, that's what he did. No, I was in control. Where is he then? You were supposed to kill him. <sighs> what a stupid plan. Okay, yeah, I'm going to end the set here because this, uh, I, I have to think about more about like how the story is unfolding, but either way, let's end it here. So once again, I'm going to assume I'm not going to be back, I don't know, either the 30th or 23rd, I'm really not sure. I will make a community post announcement if I don't, if I'm not able to stream next week. I just don't know. But either way, 
thank you for liking if you liked thank you for commenting if you commented thank you for subscribing if you subscribed thank you for favoriting if you favorited thank you for simply clicking on this video until next time guys we will be back whenever and let's see cordelia and erica work together maybe cordelia will try to kiss erica again who knows until next time guys see ya